We're here because the roof and the cupola on Nassau Hall need to be restored. It's been 60 years since the roof or the cupola have been touched. The roof was last replaced in the late 1950s. As a result, in the past decade or so, we've done a lot of roof repairs, um, including chasing leaks. Age and weather has taken a very large toll on the cupola. The copper seams have started separating through the years, and as a result, water's been getting in through the copper seams, and it has not only rusted the iron structure, but it's also gotten behind the stucco and allowed it to crack and separate from the main brick structure. It is very important to the university as well as to the municipality to make sure that the cupola is restored in its proper fashion and is historically accurate. The project team spent a great deal of time working with the Princeton University Library as well as other sources to find out what the original cupola looked like when it was last reconstructed in the 1920s. We found some really neat things while we started construction. The people who cast all the copper, we could still see their markings for how they were putting the pieces together and even some math notes that they did. It's amazing because none of this can be seen from the ground, but up close it, it really is pretty cool seeing that little bit of history. If we do our job right, the cupola will look almost exactly the same, only better. The biggest difference will be that it will take about 20 years for the bright copper to turn the beautiful patina green that we've grown so accustomed to. Working on this building is truly an honor. The fact that this building has played such a vital role in our history as a nation, just thinking of all the men and women who've gone through this building and the role they've played, it is truly humbling and it's an honor to be able to be a part of its past, present and future.